Let's go back to 2018 September. I just joined a big bank in the UK on a risk graduate scheme, which was basically a two year program with four six month placements. I was about a month into my first rotation in credit provisioning and restructuring, where my job was to look at customers across various products and franchises. Think of analyzing how likely a customer is to not pay back the borrowed money on a credit card loan or mortgage. Pretty much analyzing good versus bad customers. I was given a project where I had to take over the maintenance of an Excel dashboard that had products across retail and business banking. It came in really handy that I took an Excel crash course just two weeks before starting the job. And whilst I was nowhere near an advanced user, I at least had a basic idea of what Excel was and what it could be used for. But just like with many of the courses you learn on your own, where you feel like you know everything, the dashboards at work were a thousand times more complicated. So many data sources, so many different worksheets, not to mention real life data quality is almost never as good as the data sets provided to you in those courses. I had to learn fast on the job and I did. I had really good people around me who helped a lot. I felt like I was in a safe environment to ask questions. I put in a tremendous amount of work and got obsessed with getting better at Excel. I stayed after work to learn more and more about it every day. The dashboard was heavily reliant upon VLOOKUPs, index match functions, and the offset function to create named ranges that I could then use for my visualizations as the data was updated. I spent about 15 months on the graduate scheme across three placements, credit provisioning and restructuring, credit model risk, and prudential regulation and frameworks, and learned Excel to a really high level. I was uh, super comfortable with all the key formulas and functions needed to clean, transform, and analyze the data, and learned all the most important shortcuts to speed up my workflow so that I barely had to use my mouse anymore by the end of 2019. I rolled off the graduate scheme by getting a job in investment banking as a credit portfolio manager, which started in 2020 January. Just before that, I went on my first ever solo backpacking trip to Thailand, where I celebrated my birthday during the full moon festival. As a kid, my family never used to travel much as my parents were always working to provide a better life for us. So going to Thailand with my own money made me extremely happy. So what did I actually learn in terms of Excel in 2020? Investment banking is a fast paced job in normal times, not to mention in 2020 COVID times. Markets were all over the place and working hours were hectic. I learned to work quickly and accurately in Excel, I learned to work under immense pressure and extremely short timeframes. I took my keyboard shortcut skills to another level. I basically used Excel without using my mouse. I also learned to write some VBA code to speed up repetitive data cleaning and transformation tasks. In 2021, I moved jobs again. I left investment banking for an insights analyst role still within the financial services industry. I realized that I wanted to specialize in data within finance rather than just specialize in a specific part of finance like credit risk. The role required me to identify cost saving opportunities and how best we could reallocate those costs. Could we produce more with the same amount of resources? Could we produce the same output with fewer resources? Could we increase our resources and produce proportionately more output than the increase in resources? I was working with really senior stakeholders in this role, so I learned to simplify my visualizations and tables in Excel to help me simplify and deliver my message to my senior audience. I worked very closely with the finance and HR teams and learned how important it is to create templates and worksheets that others can easily understand and feed into. I also touched up on my accounting knowledge back from my university days as I worked through numerous finance spreadsheets. For the most part of 2022, I was still in my insights analyst role. And to be honest, in terms of Excel, I didn't learn anything new. I simply used all the skills I've developed throughout the years. One big change did occur though during this year as I got my first data focus role working as a data and analytics analyst in July, 2022. 
at the time of filming this video, it is September 2023, which means that it's been exactly five years since I started my Excel journey back in September 2018, and just over a year since I've been a full-blown data analyst. In my current role, I don't use Excel very often anymore, but the one big thing I learned is to use data validation and worksheet protection when collaborating with others. I oftentimes have to gather offline data from my stakeholders to build dashboards and get ad hoc insights. Connecting directly to data sources in central systems might take too long in certain cases. If you work for a large organization, you'll know that there are many systems and schemas, not to mention access barriers, which can significantly hinder the data gathering process. So I learned that the principle of least privilege is key even in Excel to avoid unnecessary mistakes and drive better data quality. I'd say I went from a complete Excel newbie to a very advanced user in less than two years. 80, maybe even 90% of what I know and use in Excel comes from my learning in the first two years of working with the tool. Putting in those hours at the beginning of my career by mastering Excel has helped me so much. In the past three years, I was able to focus on identifying and solving business problems using Excel rather than having to learn the technical skills first so that I can solve those problems. All in all, it's been a fun journey so far. And even though I've mastered numerous other tools like SQL, Python, Tableau, and Neo4j by now, Excel is still a very useful tool simply due to its popularity. I personally, don't think Excel is going away anytime soon. If you like this video, make sure to check out some of my other videos right here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.